Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, my name is Alex and this is Tech Focus. Today we are taking a look at the Mad Cat's Rat TE. This is my second budget gaming mouse review in the same amount of weeks. Last week I had a review of the Logitech G302, which I thought was probably one of the best budget gaming mice that you can get. So this mouse is only £5 more than the G302 and it comes in at I think it is £45, I think, in game. Um, I actually had the option to buy this when I went and bought my mouse, but because I kind of wanted the backlighting and I didn't really want a gaming type mouse, I just wanted a product, one with a couple of macro keys that I can program, that's why I went with the Logitech. Now this mouse has a lot of features that the Logitech mouse doesn't have, which include four macro keys instead of the two that the Logitech ha one has. It also has a much more, like, gaming design, I would say. I would say the Logitech mouse is more, like, elegant and, like, nice looking, and this one is more, like, awesome, to be honest, the design-wise. It has this awesome little back tray that you can like pull so it can like match the size of your hand which I think is actually pretty awesome. The only problem with that is that the materials do sound a bit cheap and I will show you that now. So yeah, as you can see it, it sounds a little bit cheap price compared to the Logitech where the Logitech one actually sounds pretty nice and it isn't very it isn't very like cheap sounding. I think the materials that they've used are actually quite basic and there is no backlighting either which is something that I extremely miss. It does have a nice click on all of the buttons including the macro keys, although I find that the third macro key, so this one at the back here, is extremely difficult to press when I'm holding it. That's something that I think they could fix, possibly in later models, or even if you pull the little tray back and have your hand a bit further back it's okay, but then you can't reach the front one. So the design on this really hasn't made complete ergonomical sense. It is nice looking even though it hasn't made complete 100% sense with every single feature that they put on it. So for the cable that it has, it has a very nice braided cable which I think is a nice addition to have, something that Logitech doesn't have either. It does give it that little bit more like premium quality to it even though the materials that they've used don't feel like amazing they feel okay so if i was to compare this to the logitech i would i would probably make the logitech win because the logitech mouse seems a little bit more premium and it feels like they put a bit more effort into the design and the functionality compared to the rat mouse to be honest the rat mouse is a nice mouse and i think it's overpriced for what you get compared to the Logitech one because it just feels like some of the things that they've done haven't had much thought put into them. They've like found function and that's what they've put in it and then the design has let them down a little bit. That's my own personal opinion. It isn't obviously going to be the opinion of everyone else, but that's what I believe. Now, the same features that this has as the Logitech has is a DPI switch underneath the scroll button. That's always a nice feature to have, but it is actually quite common now on mice to see that. I'm not sure if there's any other colors available, but the one that I have is blue and black, so it's almost the same colors as the Logitech one. Um, which has blue lighting. Of course the Logitech one is actually an all-black design and the lighting is what really sets it apart from any other. Now if you're planning to use this without a mouse mat, it doesn't really glide across surfaces very nicely. Um, I used it on my desk, which is a standard like I hear glossy type. It doesn't really slide very nicely over that, even though it does have the anti-grip pads across all of the surfaces on the bottom. So if I was to like weigh them out and say which one I would recommend buying, I would recommend buying the Logitech mouse because it seems to be more premium and it feels like they put more effort into it. If you want to see my review of the Logitech G302, there is a card up in the top corner just up there. I'm not saying that this mouse isn't worth buying, but I'm just saying that there's things that they could have improved on it that I think set the Logitech apart from this mouse. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe for more. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more and goodbye.